250,000 people are in Washington for the inauguration. But for those unable to get there, the Universal Newspaper Newsreel is rushing pictures of the epic ceremony by the fastest air express plane in the country. The speedy plane takes off and soars over the national capital, even while President Roosevelt is still on the inaugural stand. At 230 miles an hour, the record-breaking Air Express whisks its historic freight to the screen, arriving at New York while newspaper wires are still hot with the story of the great event, and while the radio still roared with acclamations for the new president. At the airport, a fast car with police escort is waiting, and the film is transferred almost as soon as the plane touches the ground. No bet is overlooked in the race against time to serve the newsreel public, and the Universal Newspaper Newsreel is establishing a record for speed. Here they come, on the last lap. And here it is, the beginning of the greatest drama in American affairs, the creation of a new chief executive. According to time-honored custom, the retiring president and the president-elect ride together from the White House with congressional escort down the long and crowd-packed Pennsylvania Avenue to the Capitol, where Roosevelt is to take the oath of office. Enthusiasm is at its height. Never was there such a joyful, jubilant, yelling, applauding inauguration crowd. Roosevelt is the nation's idol here today. Thousands of Americans are here to cheer the birth of a new era in national affairs, a New Deal era, which is supposed to pull the country out of its chaos. The hosts of democracy are here to celebrate the greatest party victory of all time. And now everything is ready for the big moment. Chief Justice Hughes of the United States Supreme Court prepares to administer the oath of office to Franklin D. Roosevelt, making him the 62nd president. You, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, you solemnly swear that you will faithfully execute the office of president of the United States and will, to the best of your ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help you, God. I, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help me, God. <laughs> 